Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are sitting on the floor in front of my window and we're going to be just getting ready together. I have a Zoom meeting later on this evening, which I'm doing with Child of Venus and Mars, Ava, if you know her and a couple other people. We're just doing it as something fun. Uh, Ava set it up. It is a free meeting and any donations that we get we are going to give to charity. So that's something fun that I've got going on later and I thought that it'd be cool to just kind of get ready together since this is like the first real reason besides like doing other videos or like making content that I've had to get ready for in a while so pretty stoked. <laughs> this is what I think that I'm going to wear later on. I'm not exactly sure but this is what I think. It's a mini dress that I got in New York from Shedhead Vintage after I was working with them and then I think I'm gonna wear these periwinkle tights with it but I'm not exactly sure that might change. And for shoes, I'm not really sure. I'm thinking white Mary Janes. Not that I'm going outside. I'm a person who likes to wear shoes in the house. I don't know about anybody else. My mom calls me a little old lady because I like to wear my shoes in the house, but honestly, it just like completes the outfit. Like I feel ready for the day. If I'm outside, like on grass or anything, I definitely want to have my shoes off. I think I'm going to keep it more neutral and I'm, thinking that I'm gonna kind of recreate the makeup look that I had in my last like everyday hair tutorial because a lot of people were asking about that look so that's what I'm gonna kind of base it off of. I think the main thing there was that I was wearing lashes on my top and bottom lashes or I might have only worn like little lashes on the outside and then I wore full lashes on the bottom which is what I think I'm gonna do. Alright, so now for blush. I started an herb garden uh, recently and like my first little sprouts are coming up and I'm so excited. I planted peppermint, which is one of the first things that sprouted up. Uh, lemon balm, which is the other thing that's really sprouting up right now. And then I did lavender, chamomile, rosemary, cilantro because I use cilantro so much, basil, then also this tag off of this shirt that was sent to me had some like seeds in it I guess so it said to plant the tag that the seeds would then grow which is really cute I felt like. Oh it's Andrew! Hi! I was gonna look for a cool pair of shoes. Nice. Do you have any? Um of mine or like what? Yeah I'm just recording a sustain pedal on it. My foot's gonna be on screen. I'm just wearing socks. Yeah. These green ones, maybe I could wear these. If you could fit your foot in that, you should. And then tag Jeffrey Campbell. I might want to take my sock off. Yeah, take off. your sock off. Barefoot? Yeah, I wear them barefoot. It's gonna be hairy. It's okay. Wow, our feet size aren't far off. I'm in. Ow, it kind of hurts. <laughs> I'm not gonna break it. No, you're not gonna break it. <laughs> Is <laughs> brown okay though? Yeah, that's great. All right. You look amazing, babe. Thanks, babe. Love you. <laughs> Love ya. Okay. That's fun. I'm also trying to like kill two birds with one stone here and record a TikTok while making this video. So I'm trying to not forget about that part of it. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, like, and I mean a while, you'll know that I used to layer up blushes, like a cream blush or like a liquid kind of gel blush that I use now, and then a powder one on top, and I've gone back to doing that a little bit. I can just kind of like dust it on certain areas a little bit easier, like around my eye and then on my chin. We're gonna do some eyeshadow, and I'm just going to use the neutrals in here, which is a natural matte palette. I'm gonna start with like a light pink. I'm just going to use it to kind of like set my eyelid. And I'm going to keep it a little more light on the lid I think actually. I just decided that uh, now. So I'm going to use actually this like white shimmery on the lid and I'm just going to use my finger. I feel like it goes on a little bit better. And I'm just going to bring it into my inner corner too because that's the color that I use. So that's what that looks like. I'm just gonna take the leftover stuff and add it around for fun. Now we're gonna go back to the natural matte palette that I was originally talking about. And I'm gonna take kind of like a, like a smaller fluffy kind of brush. And I'm going to use the kind of like warm brown down here. And then I'm just gonna put it into my 
crease. I'm not going quite exactly into my crease. This goes for people with hooded eyes as well. Keep your eye open and then draw your crease where you can still see like right above where the skin actually creases. It might get really close to your eyebrow, but that's just kind of like how it goes really with this look. I get pretty dang close to my eyebrow too. And if your eyebrow is like right there and you can't make the crease, there are like plenty of other 60s looks for people with hooded eyelids and that is something that I'm gonna plan on making a video about in the future as well. Because you don't have to do a cut crease to have 60s style makeup. And now I'm going to use the flatter side, which I kind of started doing as well with that. I didn't even notice that I switched to it, um, so it doesn't really matter whatever you use. This kind of helped me to condense it and build it up a little bit more. Now I'm going to use a darker brown and kind of do the same thing. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush, which I'm going to use this one. It's kind of like a diagonal one. And I'm not going to be surprised if it comes out pretty dark like black because I've been using this for black eyeshadow for a while. And there, yeah, sure enough. Alright, so this is what we've got going on so far. I think I'm going to use this fluffy side of this brush again, kind of brush it off, and go into like this light kind of brown up here, and just do like a little bit, and then I'm going to like use it to kind of blend out the top. And that's more of what I'm going for, and I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so I just made a huge mistake while doing this eye. Um, for the last part with this brush, instead of going in with the dark brown, I went and put it into the black and then put it all over my eye and didn't notice. So I'm just going to do that on this side and then kind of blend it out and then add brown to this one and we'll see how that goes. So that actually turned out pretty nicely. It needed to be a little bit darker anyways. Now I'm going to take that pale color that I used at the beginning and just kind of blend up this up here. Eyeliner. So I have been using some eyeliner that I really don't like so don't even bother. So I think I'm just going to make kind of like big thick eyeliner for this. Sorry if you can hear Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds being played over and over again in the background by Andrew. Uh, welcome to my world, if you can hear that. Uh, whenever he's doing songs, I feel like I get to learn them almost as well as he does. <laughs> Now we are going to start doing the lashes, so I'm going to put mascara on first. Michelle's calling. Hey babe! Say hi to my video. Um, hi! <laughs> okay, that was awesome. I'm changing from my um, eyelashes now. Got off track a little bit. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Yay. Okay, so I'm just going to use this natural matte palette and I'm going to use the uh, shade Sexpresso for my eyebrows and then I'm going to use my eyeliner brush. It's just like a thin little brush. I'm just going to kind of like draw them to be longer. Uh, so that's pretty much all that I'm going to do with that and then I'm just going to run my boy brow through my eyebrow hairs like I normally do. So I'm going to take those little like part eyelash pieces that I was talking about before and I'm going to put them on just like the outer corners of my top lash line. 
I've got the top lashes on, now they're just going to dry it down. And now we're going to do the bottom ones. And for this, I am using just regular top lashes, but I have some like thin ones that I'm going to put on. It's just like a full little set like this. And so I'm just going to flip them upside down from what you put them on the top like. I'm going to glue them on like this. I'm going under my lashes. And I'm pushing the false lashes up against my lash line. And then we've got one on. I also like to take a more thin brush like my eyeliner brush and just kind of help brush my lashes in together with that. I'm just going to take a black eyeshadow with that same brush and I'm going to kind of put it along my lower lash line. And actually that concludes the makeup look then. Just brush out my hair here. I think that I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna change my clothes then and come back and show you the final look. Alright, so I am in my outfit. I put on these little hoops and I decided to go with the white mod shoes as well. I just kind of teased the back of my hair just a tiny little bit. Hopefully this was a fun video for you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day whatever you're doing and I'll catch you in the next one.